Hi guys, and welcome back. Right, where am I? Oh yeah, there's New Vegas. Right. I'm going off. Right, I need to find the other, the other groups. There's one up here at the Repcon headquarters. And there's one miles away at the Nellis Air Force Base. Right. Let's head up to Repcon headquarters. See if I can find them. This is a dangerous place, human. The hell? Especially for your kind. I suggest you turn back. There's nothing good waiting for you further on. What makes it a dangerous place? You must have heard a radio broadcast. The why a human would follow her invitation here is beyond me, unless you didn't listen very closely. The voice on the radio belongs to Tabitha, the supreme commander of Black Mountain, or as she calls it, the state of Utopatha. She took control of this place almost two years ago. The super mutants here do whatever she says, and she says humans are to be killed on sight. Well, you're a very nice guy then, because you haven't killed me yet. How did she end up in control? For years, Black Mountain was a peaceful community. Its leader, Marcus, broadcast an invitation to mutants throughout the wasteland. That's how I found Black Mountain. So did others, most of them second generation mutants. Marcus welcomed everyone. That was his mistake. The community ended up being mostly second gen. Not very bright, but easy to influence. Fine until the Nightkin came along, led by Tabitha. In a week, she had most of the second gens thinking she was some kind of prophet, and that she should be broadcasting her truth, not Marcus. Marcus saw what was coming and decided to leave before things got out of hand. He smashed the radio and left to found Jacobstown. Why are you here instead of Jacobstown? Marcus sent me here a couple of months ago to check on Black Mountain. I suppose you could say I came here as a spy. But with no signs of Tabitha's weakening and none of the second gens ready to revolt or to come to Jacobstown, there wasn't much I could do. Down here, on the other hand, I've saved a dozen mutants from heading up the mountain. It's not much, but it's something. I have my own reasons to stay away from Jacobstown for a while. Reasons we won't be discussing. So I've stayed here. You say Marcus smashed the radio? <laughs> There's a sad story behind that. Marcus smashed it just fine, but while we were gone, some ghoul named Raoul came along. Tabitha turned him into her personal mechanic. A slave, really. See, if I'd been standing down here, I could have warned him before it was too late. Hmm. That is true. Uh, what sort of trouble should I expect if I head up? The road is a series of switchbacks up to the peak. There are three blockades plus patrols. Sneaking past them would be... difficult. Just before the peak is a kind of shanty village. More second gens there. And then there's Tabitha's compound. Heavily guarded by her nightkin. Right. You seem friendly. Keep saying things like that and I won't be so friendly. Not every super mutant is a brain damaged brute. Many of us are just as intelligent as basic humans, and the rest don't really have any choice in the matter, do they? No offense intended. And none taken, since you apologized. Right. So, what is Jacob's town? The opposite of Black Mountain. A stable community of mutants, mostly. Led by a mentally stable leader. Humans are welcome there, so long as they behave themselves. Look northwest of Red Rock Canyon if you want to find it. Well, wow, sweet. Sounds awesome, like a town full of super mutants that won't kill me on sight. Not like this place he's talking about now, full of nightkins. They'll probably destroy me in one combat, hit. And that's if you see them coming. Most don't. They were created to be soldiers and given devices to camouflage them in battle. Unfortunately, the devices drove most of them mad over time. They spend most of their time at the top of the mountain, but patrol the roads after dark as well. You do well to avoid the mountain at night. Oh, right. Alright, see you, Neil. Goodbye. What an awesome guy. Look at him. Look how he walks. He's so cool. Imagine him as a companion. Oh, could I have him and Boone? I'd be like the greatest. Shit, is that the way up to this mountain they're talking about? 
Yeah, must be up there. I've got to avoid that place. I'm not fighting Nikins. They're alright when you fight them one on one like I did in that other mission, but pff, no chance of fighting them all. They're invisible. Come on, Boone. Boone? No, that's Neil. Where's Boone gone? I have an idea. There's Boone. Hello. Oh, there's Neil. He don't walk very fast though, does he? So suppose there's one downside to being him. Although I'm guessing he can run. He don't just walk like a badass all the time. Oh, there's so many like these fences. Maybe that on the radio. Hold on. I'll just open these doors. Oh, I'll just turn the sound up, see if I can hear it. Not very well now. I think that must be Tabitha though. In fact, hang on, I got an idea. Radio. Black Mountain. No. Oh god, that's a nightkin. He attacked us. Right. So I'm not taking the blame for this. I shouldn't be here. I should definitely not be here. How do I get out of this place? Right. Uh, I don't know. Oh, is that Neil? What Neil? You could have helped us. Still hanging about? Indeed. If I had fifty speech, I could. Hmm. While well, your enthusiasm Join. is admirable, I think I'd best stay here so I can warn other travelers. You know what? That's a good idea. Actually, I might get speech up. It's helpful. I'm level eleven. That's not bad. Okay, I'm guessing. Oh, there's an NCI guy here. Right away, that'll come in useful. Oh, Magnum ammo. Do nothing. Oh. The crappy little bear traps won't affect me. Oh, that might! Oh my god! Oh, no, don't stand in the way of it! Holy crap. <coughs> Did that just rearm itself? I could have sworn I disarmed him all. Okay. Here we go. Sounded like an enemy was about to attack me then. I think I'm just hearing things now though. Okay, I think I found a way to get past them. Here we go. Past Black Mountain. I think I will head up there at some point though. Who knows, they might not attack me on sight. They might see me and go. You know, this guy, he's alright. But chances are, I'll go up and I'll be dead in like the first five seconds, so I'm not even going to risk it. Not until I'm a higher level and can take them all on. I'm only level 11. Took long enough to kill one. Although at least he died, not like those super mutants I fought right near the end of the game. But the hell. Oh, robot. Can I speak to you? Or is it hostile? How may I serve you, Master? Oh, what a cool guy. Can't speak to him now. Imagine you can get one of them as your companion as well. That'd be amazing. A super mutant, a human, and a robot. That'd be the greatest combination ever. Alright, let's head off into these offices. For Repcom. Repcom was that other building I was in before where I had to clear out the ghouls. What? But do you not have any ammo on you? What the hell? You just come running in here with pool, pool cues. You're not gonna do very well, are you? A hunting rifle. 
I wish it didn't drop mine though. I'm gonna drop some that I don't need. Combat knife. Don't want that. Dynamite. Don't want that. Uh. Sword of Shetland. Don't want that. Caravan shotgun. 40 DPS. Single shotgun. Come on, change. 23 DPS, right? I'll keep the caravan one. Caravan one also loads up two shells instead of one, so. Hence the better DPS, I'm guessing. Big boomer. How much the DPS does that do? 60, right? Get rid of that. Oh yeah, I got some ammo for my magnum, didn't I? Not over encumbered, you liar. I'm gonna equip this, I love the hunting rifle. Favourite weapon in Fallout 3. What the hell? Oh, guys. To Repcon headquarters, Rocketeer. Come all this way to see our little facility, have you? Indeed. I'm here to answer any and all questions you may have, within specified parameters. And if you'd like, I can provide a tour of our museum. Uh, what can you tell me about Repcom? I can answer whatever questions you'd like, provided your query is limited to Repcon history, research and development, or Robco. Uh, research and development. As you may already know, Repcon is an industry leader in producing alternative fuels for military and scientific purposes. Repcon scientists were pioneers in fission-based propulsion systems, and have recently had some very exciting breakthroughs with plasma systems. The recent partnership with Robco has freed our engineers from mundane business matters, allowing them to focus solely on future projects. Uh, what can you tell them? That's enough. Know. The tour showcases Retcon's amazing scientific contributions, and the promise of many more, coupled with its parent company, Robco. I like a tour Excellent. museum. Excellent. Please be patient. The tour will begin in just a moment. Hello. Please remember visiting hours are from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. Please show your badge or make your way out of the building. Before the Repcon tour, Rocketeers, courtesy of the fine. Wow, what time is it? Folks at Rob 10 a.m. Right. Hang on. Go. I'll be your guide today on the I better leave this place. That guy was sounding very strange. He was about to kill me. I could tell. So I'm going to wait till a bit after 10. Alright, now I'll go back in. How may I serve you, Master? Where's your friend gone? I want to take the tour. Yes? Did you have a Yeah. How do I get him on that tour again? Okay, maybe I'm already on it. Look here! A row of multicolored plasma fuels. Careful, they may look safe to drink. But your stomach is the last place they should be. Why the difference in cylinder size? Refining our production methods has resulted in higher yields of fuel over time. That's why. Very nice. Oh, I'm just gonna wander around a bit. Keep him distracted. To my right, you can see a sample of some old safety barrels Repcon once used to store radioactive waste. Yeah, wow, that's amazing. Wow, he's a tiny. example of a mountain of Redcon safety barrels some legislators claim are poisoning our environment. Ridiculous. Ah, oh, these robots look so good. I'll get it in the end. Wow, all that. It's moving. It's pretty cool, this place. I think that's good glass for, but I'm not sure. Boom, get in here. 
Who's that guy? Hello there. It's good to see a friendly face. Wow. I almost took you for a raider, I did. Name's Malcolm. Malcolm Holmes. Don't suppose you'd care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and... Ah, oh, screw this. Line just ain't in my nature. I'll tell it to you straight. I've been following you for a good bit now. Why were you following me? It started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. You didn't oh, yeah, show man, any reaction to it. So, I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. What's so special about him? There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. I can find more. All over the place. The easiest place to find them is unopened bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla. You'd think they'd all have been picked clean by now, but somehow, new bottles keep appearing in the machines. Some say it's old Festus that does it, hoping someone will finally collect enough caps to earn the treasure. Other than bottles, you'll just have to scavenge. You can find caps in the unlikeliest of places, and blue star caps are no exception. So you collect them? Nah, I gave it up years ago. Too dangerous. And even if I did still collect them, I'd tell you the same. There's people out there so mad with the idea of treasure that they'll attack strangers just on the suspicion that they have some of those caps. Right. Who's Festus? It's said that the treasure is guarded by a man named Festus, and he's the one who asked for the blue star caps. It's also said he's been around since the war, standing a lonely vigil, waiting for someone to come and take the treasure off his hands. That'll make him pretty damn old. But I've met a few people in my travels who claim they actually met him, and they weren't the lying type either. So what kind of treasure are we talking about? No one knows. Money, weapons, water. It is, or maybe was, something of value, and that's enough to get people motivated. Thanks for the info. No problem. If you do end up trying to collect more stars, watch out for a man named Alan Marks. He's killed several people for their stars already. Alright. Thanks a lot. What happened to not collecting them, eh? You have six in your inventory. You liar. <laughs> now I have And these normal bottle caps. Security key hat. I'm guessing that could come in here, so. I'll just be heading off now. Huh? You wanna talk? Uh. I'll let you know more about the star hunting. There's not much more to tell. Get enough stars and the treasure's yours. Just watch out for some of the other people collecting them. Alright. Thanks a lot, buddy. This next exhibit showcases the wondrous world of robots. Around you are the incredible eyeball, the fearsome sentry bot, and the <laughs> always helpful Mr. Hank. I have the key. Boom, get in there. Boom, come on. Shut the door behind me. Ugh. I hate failing to pick locks. Come on, come on please. Put. Come on. Yes. Oh yeah. Ammunition. This is what we want. Tell the light energy weapons in this place. Right, things look pretty good now. Stole a bunch of stuff. Oh, oh god! Facial pattern detected. Valid security badge detected. Oh, time. Temporary access granted. 
Please complete employee registration with security. I will not do that. Terminal's very hard and the door's very hard. Alright, so. Don't think I'll be getting through there anytime soon. When did my weapons get so damaged? Who knows? I got a plasma rifle that does a hell of a lot of damage. I don't really want to go up there. I feel like he's going to attack me on sight. Let's have a look. Oh, maybe not. But, I need to end the video. So, that's the video, guys. Please subscribe. Click annotation in the top right to watch the next video. And as always, thanks for watching. See you guys.